You know, we're talking about self-esteem today, so I don't know, uh, maybe you're the picture of that, because you always run around here, you're confident, I, I know you have a lot of energy, and you, can ju you just seem like everything's cool. Has it always been that way? Boy, do I have you fooled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Uh, no, it wasn't always that way. Um, growing up, I, I didn't even know what self-esteem was. Um, I felt like I was the city dump um, and not wanted and invisible. And last week's sermon, it, it, was, it meant so much to me because that's the person that I was. And I, I, it's just been amazing what God has done for me. What did he do for you? You, you said you, 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 know, you felt invisible, you felt worthless in some ways. I know you've shared that with me. And, and uh, what, what changed all that? I mean, what, what happens in your life that makes that different? Well, in 2006, a lady invited me to Lockington Church. And I went there and, and sat through the service and kind of still felt invisible. And God brought this beautiful lady up to me and she introduced herself to me and she said, my name's Twyla and wow, you're just so pretty today. And I'm like, what? <laughs> she can't be talking about me. She must be talking about somebody else. But she reached out to me and she, she told me scriptures about in Isaiah, how it says that God wants to comfort us and how that he cares for us just like we care for our kids. I mean, think about how we love our children. And I'd never, I never knew that. I never knew that kind of love. What, what were you trying to get your value in before this happens? I mean, you, you know, you, you, you finally come to that point where you realize God loves you and, and you realize that, that God's made you in a beautiful way. And so you, so you understand that, but, but what happens before that? Why, why doesn't that register? Well, I tried to find comfort in everything else. Um, I shopped. I was a good shopper. I could shop for just about everything and spend just about all that I made. And, of course, you all know it's the comfort food. <laughs> so I was fat, and, and which was okay because that's what I was told my whole life, was that I was fat and ugly and stupid, and nobody really wanted me around. Okay, and then God changes the price tags, and he didn't change the price tags. It's always been that, but you start listening to him. How, how do you feel about yourself now? What? It, in 2008, a couple at Lockington um, sponsored me on an Emmaus walk, and it was the walk to Emmaus, and I felt so much love and, and so much forgiveness, and I was able to love myself, and Again, God brought Nancy Stevens into my life, and she was an amazing lady, and, and she invited me to, to come and join their, their grateful grannies on Saturday mornings. And, and it was just some ladies that were grandmas, and we just, we fellowshiped together, and it, I'd never been a part of anything like that. I'd never felt that kind of love, that they just accepted me. You know, I was kind of crazy, and I ran around goofy all the time, and they just accepted me for who I was. And then she talked me into <laughs> coming to the church. And then she's like, you need to sign up for this Bible study with Jackie Carnes. It's about the, the women of the Bible. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, well, I'm not sure I'm one of the women in the Bible. And she's like, oh, yeah, you'll fit right in. Well, it was amazing because the women of the Bible was Martha and Mary. And I learned that I was pretty much the Martha. I ran around trying to find comfort in everything else and, and expected everybody else to, you know, do what I wanted them to do. And then Julie Alexander invited me on a women's retreat that your wife was preaching the message. And Paula was amazing. She taught us that it didn't matter how much makeup you put on, it was what came from inside. And it was that God could, could change you from the inside. And it was amazing. And last Sunday's video, it just brought back so many things of what I'd went through. And, and I've been off from work for, for two years, and, and I fill in here, and I do things there. But, I mean, 
God has just shown me that it's not the work and it's not the shopping. It's the time that we spend with him and the personal relationship that we have with him. And as I've told you, it, it's been totally amazing. Um, the self-respect, the confidence that God has given me. I've, I'm a better wife. I'm a better mother. Um, I'm a better person for where I was. All because you decided and you realized that your value wasn't in the things of this world. No. But it was in God's price tag, the value yes. he gives you. Changes and everything, doesn't it? He's amazing. He is. He, she's a testament to that. Would you just tell her how much we appreciate what God has done in her life? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.